Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So my friend Kaur is back with a review of uh, another college in Bangalore which is uh, SJB Institute of Technology, SJB IT and uh, this college uh, is was started in 2001. So it's approximately 22 year old college and uh, it's affiliated to VTU Belagam and uh, uh, it's approved by AICT and it's a NAC A accredited site. Right? So it is uh, you know uh, also recognized as an ISO 9001-2015. So I'm going to cover about the placements of 23 right which is the ongoing batch and also I will showcase some of the placement highlights of the previous years comparison right so that will, it will give good idea and this college is very close to RNSIT and JSS ATE so students compare with that so this is the how the college looks and uh, it is around 13 acres of campus uh, part of SJP group which has its own hospital and the other medical colleges etc right so this SJPIT is located uh, in Kangiri area and 13 acres of uh, overall area so I will directly jump to the placements part of it because I have made a detailed campus tour and other things about the courses in other videos. So you can definitely go and check. So talking about the placements directly. So this is basically a snapshot of you know last five to six years of placement. So if you can see from the previous years you know like uh, uh, 589 students were there initially who registered for the placements and the offers used to be around 320 offers that is half 50% placements and uh, over the years the total number of offers have increased from 320 to 490, 518, 540 and 977. So till 2022 the number of offers were 977 and the total number of students who registered for the placements were 737 so it was a decent and uh, uh, number of offers and the total number of placed students were close to uh, 550 so 977 were total offers including multiple offers which each student get but the total to play students were around 550 students last year and this year up to february up to february the total number of offers were 455 and this is ongoing placement so by the end of the year at least 600 to 700 offers can be expected and uh, moving further comparison of their maximum salaries and average salaries you can check here which is maximum salaries uh, were only 5 lakhs in 2018 right so if you can see in 2018 maximum salary was 5 lakhs which increased to 13 lakhs then 9 lakhs and last 3 years it is showing good trend where maximum salary is now 20 lakhs 23 lakhs and in the current ongoing placement till date the highest salary is 27 lakhs so there is a good jump in the highest salaries which have been offered and the average salary if you see from the previous years comparison from 3.2 lakhs onwards it started increasing and the ongoing year which is 23 passing batch it is around 5 lakhs so that is a good jump also in the average salary now as I mentioned the highest salary is 27 lakhs so which is the company which gave 27 lakhs is just pay so you can see in the last column it's only showing the highest salaries of 23 passing batch so till date 27 lakhs is the highest salary just pay Mercedes Benz has have selected students at a salary of 10 lakhs IG Infotech another company which gave around 10.33 Wiley Edge 11 lakhs and Itron 12 lakhs so these are the companies which have given the salaries above 10 lakhs in the current ongoing year and this placement is not completed so some more companies can be expected uh, to be here so those were the higher salaries but if you see the most of the students get placed in the mass recruiters like in this college so if you see the mass recruiter for this current ongoing batch and this is also ongoing one so you see cognizant have taken 63 students package offered is 4 lakhs LNT has taken 54 students between the range of 4 lakhs to 6.5 lakhs. Accenture also have taken 44 students in the range of 4.5 lakhs to 6.5 lakhs. And TC has also taken 39 students in the range of 3.36 lakhs to 7 lakhs. And Betsol 37, 36 students in the range of 5 to 7. So these are the companies where maximum students will be placed. Like in 6 companies you can see around 300, uh, uh, around 250 to 300 offers in these 6 companies only. So most of the students will get placed in this type of offer and the higher salary which I have shown in the previous uh, sheet right and then there will be companies which will be taking students around 5 to 10 or 15 maximum 10 to 15 students so those are not mentioned here it's only like a mass recruitment type of companies and the type of companies which are visiting is also important to select the branch so if you see the number of companies which are visiting for IT services oriented are 125 that means the highest number of companies are IT companies that means you can take computer science information science AIML and all the branches uh, which are related with computer science or ECE that will be sufficient for this 125 companies now you see non IT companies also visiting for marketing banking technical support business development if you see the these 48 companies will be mostly taking students from say MBA program right and then the product oriented companies again will take students from ECE background as well as IT services background and then core 
engineering companies are around 35 so these 35 companies will take students from mechanical civil triple e ec and so on so that's why you know lesser number of companies are co coming for core more for it services is the main point so consider this option if you want to stay only in bangalore otherwise you will get still better colleges outside bangalore also that's all i have to cover and thanks for watching and watching and please do subscribe to the channel to get similar important updates on all the colleges in bangalore and karnataka take care